Hi there, I am Imit Alkush. In this video, we will solve one problem in chapter 7. A block of mass M equal to 4 kg is moved on an XY plane under the effect of only three forces F1, F2 and F3. From an initial position R1 equal to 3 I hat minus 4 J hat meters to a final position R2 equal to i hat plus 2 j hat meters in a time interval of 10 seconds. Force F1 has a magnitude 2 newtons and makes an angle theta equal to 30 degrees with the positive x-axis in the counterclockwise direction. And the other two forces are given as F2 equal to 5 i hat plus 7 j hat newtons and F3 equal to A i hat plus 3 j hat newtons. A calculate the works W1 and W2 done on the block by the forces F1 and F2 during the displacement. First, we find the displacement which is defined to be delta R equals R2 minus R1. With the corresponding values, we obtain negative 2 i hat plus 6 j hat meters. The work done by force F1 is found by this formula W1 equals F1 dot delta R, where dot represents the scalar product of vectors. Now we put the corresponding values into this equation. By the rule of dot product, we obtain as a result W1 is found to be 2.5358 joules, which is approximately 2.54 joules in three significant figures. The work done by force F2 is W2 equals F2 dot delta R. Then, with the corresponding values, and by the rule of that product, we obtain 32 joules. B. If the speed of the block is 2 meters per second at R1 and 6 meters per second at R2, find the x component, that is A, of the force F3. First, let us find the work done by force F3. W3 equals F3 dot delta R. We substitute the values into this equation. And by the rule of that product, we obtain 18 minus 2 times A joules. As a result, the total work done by the three forces is W total equals W1 plus W2 plus W3 with the corresponding values we have 52.536 minus 2A joules. Using the kinetic energy work theorem, namely Total work equals delta K, where delta K is the change in the kinetic energy K2 minus K1, which is equal to 1 over 2 times M times V2 squared minus V1 squared. Since we know these values, then we obtain 64 joules, which is also the total work. Therefore, we write So, A is obtained as approximately negative 5.73 newtons. C. Find the average power on the block due to these three forces during 10 seconds. The average power is P average equals W total over delta T. Then we obtain the average power on the block due to these three forces during 10 seconds as 6.4 watts. 
Okay, this result brings us to the end of the discussion of this problem. Thank you for your attention. See you in the next video.